let me show you how to warp text into more abstract and complex shapes easily using Kittle. All right, so to get started, what I want to explain is the type of illustration or silhouette you should use. So in the turtle example that I just showed you, if I were to use this illustration, with it being in full color here as a mascot, you can tell that that's a turtle. But if I just speed up through making this all the same color to use as a silhouette, it's not a turtle anymore. I mean, I don't know what that is. So you want to definitely use an illustration that's a lot easier for you to manipulate text into. So for example, I like this one. It's very big. It's very obvious that it's a turtle. And even if I go over here to change all of these white spots into the blue, you can still recognize it as a turtle. So let's go over here to the color panel and then boom. Now I have my proper silhouette and I would say that this is a pretty abstract or complex shape. Now I have the text I want to put in here, which is relax, take it easy, and life's a journey. It's quite a bit of text, but I'm going to show you how to easily put it inside of this silhouette. So what I'm going to do is apply the Sunday's font here because one, I think it goes with the quote, and two, it's kind of more of a rounded off retro font that is perfect for warping. So make sure that one, you're picking the right type of illustration, and two, you're picking the right type of text or the right text style to warp. So what I'm going to do with relax, is put it in the shell here, this curved part of the shell, and I want to complete it by making the bottom part of the text round. So if I hit the distort transformation over in the right panel, you can see all of these little anchor points that have come up, and I can select any selection or any section of these anchor points and start moving them around. So you can see right here, I'm expanding the bottom left to the bottom left part of where I think the shell is, and you have to think a little bit three-dimensional here and get creative with where you want to put the text. So if I grab this middle one, I can just drag down ever so slightly, and then I can use these handles to curve out the corners here. So now I can really make this look like it's the bottom part of the shell here, So and, and reaching up to the top parts of the text. So a lot of this is trial and error, playing around, making sure your handles and things are right for the illustration shape you're using. So let's take take it easy and I'm going to do it around the bottom of relax. So now I've kind of set up a good area for us to use this. Same thing, I'm going to hit distort over in the transformation panel and then I'm just going to start using these anchor points and move them along the path that I think it should take. So if I wanted to take a curve, then I can just drag these corners to where I think they should go. Now I'm going to expand this one upwards here because the other quote I'm going to put there in the head. So what I need to do now is adjust these handles to smooth and out the curve. So you see when you expand those handles, your text kind of enlarges to fill the shape or to fill the path that you've put it on. So you really need to make sure you're using the handles to get good round corners or good rounded edges so that you don't have anything too clunky. So for the last quote, we have life's a journey. I wouldn't put it in the feet because you'd have to break it up and it's a little bit uh, wobbly there in the in the right in the right fin there. So what I'm going to do is a little trick and break up the phrase into separate text boxes. And I want this to go in the head here because I'll show you in a second that I'm going to make everything different colors so that it's a little easier to read. So for the top part of the head, I'm going to put life's A and then for journey, the emphasis of this quote, I'll put it a little bit bigger below. So I'm going to size this down a little bit and this is just going to show you how powerful the distort transformation is. So look, I've already hit distort and now I'm moving this around and it doesn't matter how big, how small or the, the shape is or the size is, I can make this text fit. That's how powerful the distort tool is. So make sure that you're utilizing all of the nodes, all of the little anchor points that pop up when you hit that distort feature and you can really get some cool effects inside a ton of different abstract shapes. By the way, you can hit alt or option key and drag on your keyboard and I just duplicated the text typed in journey and I'm going to do the same thing here distort and then I'm going to start moving around all of these little anchor points so with that distort tool it's going to open up all of these little anchor points like I just mentioned for you to drag if I grab the bottom part of the J here look how long I can make that and everything follows suit so I can grab that middle point which is controlling the bottom part of the text and then I can start moving these handles to smoothen it out and make it to the proper curve okay so I can keep stretching this out to where I want it to be. So then, to top it off, what I'm going to do is make all of these just a slightly different variation of a green color for two reasons. One, 
I think it adds some uh, some some visual interest and and two, it, it makes it a little easier to read, right? So now I can know that the darker green says relax. Uh, I know that the text below it is a separate quote, and then I know that that yellowish color is another one as well. So here's our finished design. I hope you have a ton of fun making distorted text with complex shapes and illustrations.